On or about September 3rd of last year, Chief Art Acevedo chose to take off-duty action alone when it was brought to his attention that an intoxicated subject was sleeping on the property of a restaurant. We can assume that due to the exigency of the circumstances, there was no time to call 911 and allow uniformed duty officers to handle the situation. As a result of the chief waking the subject up and ordering him to leave the property, a struggle ensued, and in the words of our chief, I had to take him to the ground and detain him. Within days, the department's PR staff floated the story to the media, and it resulted in a two-day news story in which our chief was hailed as an icon of the city, a police chief that still has the steely nerves of a street cop and the compassion of a, your next-door neighbor. On February 9th of this year, APD officer Jonathan Laborde was compelled to take action while off-duty in his church. While Officer Laborde was participating in a children's ministry meeting, he observed an unknown male subject running down the hallway with dirty clothes, disheveled hair, and blood all over his face. Laborde noted the subject was looking around and showing all the signs of someone who was trying to flee a fresh, a fresh criminal event. As the subject crashed through the doors leading into the closed gym, it occurred to Laborde that someone had perhaps been violently assaulted within the confines of his church. Laborde rightfully and immediately made the decision to investigate. His suspicion seemed to be confirmed when he followed the suspect outside through the exit of the church and heard police sirens in the area. Officer Laborde experience told him, I must keep an eye on this suspect until officers are in the area and in a position to take him. Within minutes, Laborde had managed to take the subject to the ground and detain him until on-duty officers were in that position and were able to take the suspect into custody. Unfortunately, Officer Laborde's fate was not that of our chiefs. There was no praise in the media. Uh, there was no praise from the public. He was acknowledged by his department, but in a way that uh, we are having a hard time believing. Officer Laborde was placed under investigation for his actions that day, and after four months of living through that nightmare, today received a 10-day suspension. He will be stripped of his badge and gun and suffer the, the humiliation and the degradation that only a cop can feel when that happens to them. If history is any indication, he has no hope of promoting for the next five years. Prior to this event, Officer Laborde is a veteran officer and had waited his turn to get a coveted day shift, looking forward to spending time with his family. To add to his punishment, the chief summarily today moved him to a night shift immediately. What misconduct did Officer Laborde commit, according to the police department? He took action off-duty when inappropriate to do so. It wasn't a sleeping drunk at a restaurant. It was a bloody man running through the church. In this day and age, I believe most of the members in our community would expect an officer, off-duty or on-duty, to respond. The department also said he was neglectful in his duty because for his protection, he had his weapon in his hand when he took the suspect down. We believe most reasonable people would believe the chief's actions in this case are ill-advised. We as an association believe this case was handled in an outrageous manner. The truth of the matter is we have a disciplinary system where this is only the tip of the iceberg. This system is notoriously corrupt, dangerous, and arbitrary. How are our men and women in uniform supposed to conduct themselves in an environment that's been created by our chief, which is both punitive, full of fear, and confusion? We're calling for Officer Laborde to be completely exonerated in this case and recognized for his courageous decision to act when duty called. He had no regard for the safety of his career when he made that decision. His only regard was that of the safety of the members of his church. Chief, I ask you directly, you cannot take away what you've done to him and his family for the last four months, but you can at this late date correct a terrible mistake. Furthermore, we call upon the chief and the city manager 
to begin to make meaningful changes in the way our officers are treated when they're the target of an investigation. We stand ready, willing, and able to assist in that effort. Our men and women who are frequently called upon to make life-altering decisions in moments notice need to and deserve to know with confidence that when they're scrutinized, they will be scrutinized fairly, consistently, and above all else with logic. Today as we stand here, that's not even close.